I'm doing a recording today to try to pass something on that I need to do for other people that may be abused by insurance companies. My name is Jim. I have a nickname, Big Jim, and I'm doing this to pay back to whoever will listen for the kindnesses that were bestowed upon my wife and me. What happened was my wife worked diligently for a company for over two decades. Never had problems at work, loved all the people she worked for. Then she got a nerve disease that progressively became disabilitating to her, using up all her vacation, her sick leave. At any rate, she was, she was told when she left that she had this insurance that she'd been paying on. She knew she had it, but she didn't know how far it went into things. And ever since she applied for it, when she left under her disability, she was given a hard time. She was lied to, misled it, made to believe that the people were her friends. Uh, there was trickery. There was misdirection. So we put up with all that in the beginning. What I got from talking to this insurance company was they tried to trip you up even in the beginning. They started telling her what she should do instead of letting doctors tell her what she should do. And uh, that didn't work out well with me. I got on the phone and I said, well, who do you think you are? You know, you're not her doctors. And finally, they told uh, me and my wife that they didn't care what the doctor said. And then I said, what, what do you mean? We, you don't care what the doctors say? No. Well, we had ours look at the papers too, but we don't care about that either. It's my decision. And this is some uh, person there that uh, they hired to deny people claims. That's their job. So if you have disability insurance and they're smiling in your face, don't believe it. Don't do what we did. We believed it. We're basically an honest couple and we were taken in by their smiles and their candor of how nice they were, because they were all a pack of lies. So what happened was, we said, since they denied us, that we needed to do something. We really didn't know what to do. We'd never been put in that situation. So we called up several different law firms and they said, well, the nerve disease, the medical thing was different. And this one gentleman recommended us to go to uh, Ben Glass Law Firm. So I called them and uh, a gentleman got on the phone, but his name's Jose, and he started talking to me. And when I explained what was going on, he knew already before I said what I was going to say, what went on. So then I sat back and it made me understand even more how I was taken in by the trickery. By the way, I'm being very clean with my language, calling things trickery and whatever. I'm usually more upset about this. But what you should do is contact Ben Glass Law Firm because when you do that, the law will fight for you because that's what he does with people like Jose and the rest of his staff. I don't know if there's any others like him, but I was lucky enough to find him. And what I suggest is before you start talking to these uh, advocates of these disability insurance companies, is that you call up someone, or mainly Ben Glass Law Firm, because Ben Glass Law Firm will have the law fight for you instead of you hearing a pack of lies from an insurance company saying they're going to fight you. And they have good people. Jose is one of them. Everyone that's contacted us from his firm has been uh, truthfully pleasant instead of lyingly pleasant, which we had gone through. So 
it, it bestowed a little more confidence in the human beings around. We were directed here by another law firm, but after what we'd been through so much, so much of that didn't matter. It meant who we were talking to and their demeanor and how they approached us and what he mm -hmm. said, because he didn't have, Jose didn't have to say what he said, but that gave me enough confidence in your firm. And then after meeting you and seeing all your beautiful family and your children. Absolutely. We thought when we left out here, we were talking to each other. You had to be a good and honest man. 